Hey everybody, and Tony here with the review of Verdi's Nabucco with conductor Paolo Arriva Benni, which I saw at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. And this was also the same production I saw two years ago with Dalibor Yenes and Ludmila Monastirska as Nabucco and Abigail, respectively. And in tonight's performance, they still managed to do a very solid job but with Yudmila Monastirska coming out on top as Abigail, as she's always been. While Dali Borienes might not have a huge grand voice like Gian Giacomo Guelfi, or be a total vocal chameleon like Tito Gobbi or Renato Rosson or Leonucci, he still manages to do a fine job singing the role of Nabucco thanks to his meticulousness and of course his charisma on stage and he managed to sing this role rather smartly, pinpointing where he had to sing a high note, where he had to sing softly, where he had to sing with much nuance, and when he had to sing with much force. He did a smart job singing Nabucco, even though I would have loved to have a more voluminous voice, something more akin to a Helden baritone singing roles like Telramund or Klingsor or Alberich, singing this particular role. Though, I still have to give my hat off to Dali Borienes for doing a fine job singing Nabucco. Ludmila Monastirska continues to dominate the stage as Abigail, as she's always been. What I really like about Madame Monastirska, in terms of her voice, is that she manages to navigate the high notes and the low notes superbly. Her renditions of Beni o tin veni o fata il scritto, which then leads up to the cavatina Anch'io dischiuso un giorno, and the cabaletta Salgo già al trono arato, was superb, as it's always been, thanks to her rock solid, sturdy, and full sounding dramatic soprano voice, and thanks to her dramatic flair, which shone wonderfully. And she was the brightest star when it comes to the leads. Now, what about the other players? Well, they were all solid as well. Starting off with Yevgen Orlov as Zakaria, who I also saw a couple of days ago singing the role of Timur from Puccini's Turandot. While I thought he did a very solid job singing Zakaria, I thought that his singing in the first act was a little bit strained in the higher register but he was a lot better in the later acts of the opera. Though, when all is said and done, he still managed to maintain his full-sounding, round, rich, and cavernous basso cantante voice. He did a very solid job, and he showed endurance despite a sort of iffy start in the first act. He managed to really muscle through the second and third acts, really showing a lot of endurance and stamina that this particular basso had. Attilio Glaza was a noble Ismaele, and his voice was rich and pure, and his high notes were also very piercing. On top of that, his singing was superb, and he was a very fine stage actor. He was dashing, he had this tall presence, and he made the best out of this pretty thankless character. He showed nobility, he showed grace, and he showed a lot of musical precision in his singing and acting. And I have to give Mr. Glaza a lot of kudos for a job well done in bringing this particular thankless character to life. Yuri Kutasi was a wonderful fenena. She continues to use her youthful mezzo contralto voice to the best of her abilities, and she was absolutely gorgeous on stage. She sang everything well, and she was superb in that particular role. We also have great singing from the minor players, from Alexia Botnarschuch's virile, masculine, and handsome high priest of Baal, to Jörg Schörner's noble and fine-sounding Abdalo, and someone I need to look out more often 
is the wonderful young Korean lyric soprano who sang the role of Anna Se-Yung Park, who had a lusciously gorgeous full lyric soprano voice and a darling stage presence. Just by listening to her voice, I could definitely tell that Miss Park has a wonderful and brilliant future in the spinto soprano roles. I'm sure that her voice is still developing, but it's showing signs of having that full bloom, that richness, that beauty, that luminous quality that glows in her voice like a comet. She has it all, and I would love to see her career go further and further down the line because she has a beautiful future. She has a voice that has a lot of potential in singing all of these Italianate spinto soprano roles, and she was wonderful in bringing the character of Anna to life. Even though this role is quite short, she manages to dominate this particular role all thanks to her darling stage presence and her beautiful timbre found in her luminous, full lyric soprano voice. So overall, this singing was solid all around, with Lyudmila Monastryska reigning queen as Abigail, as she's always been. She's dominated this role for many years, and she showed no signs of stopping whatsoever. But I also have to give major kudos to Yevgen Orlov, Atilio Glaza, and Judith Kutasi for doing very solid jobs in their roles of Zakaria, Ismaele, and Fenena. They sang wonderfully, and the ensemble singing overall was superb. And the conducting done by Paolo Arrivabeni was brisk. However, there are moments in the music where I felt like he conducted a bit too fast for my tastes, like the Cabaletta O Prodi Miei, which sounded a little bit too speedy, but the way he handled Va Pensiero was really well done and I especially love the chorus who managed to bring to life this famous chorus number Va Pensiero with nuance, beauty, and grand musicality. So overall this was definitely a great evening for opera and I have to give major kudos to Ludmila Monastryska for showing a lot of endurance as Abigail, and of course, Yevgen Orlov, Atilio Glaza, Yuri Kutasi, Dali Borgienes, Alexia Botnarschuch, Jörg Schörner, and the wonderful Seyung Park for doing superbly in their respective roles. And for those of you who caught this particular production of Nabucco, what did you think of it? Did you feel like Dali Borgenes and Ludmila Monastryska maintained or improved since you last saw them? Did you feel like there was someone else who stood out so well in terms of the cast of singers? Or did you feel like there were some elements or singers or some facets of this particular production that just didn't really hold up at all? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my review of Donizetti's Anna Bolena, starring Irina Lungu, Ketevan Kemoklitz, Carlo Colombara, and Ismael Hordi. So until then, good night, everybody.